just so long out in the Atlantic and did not uh, sneak up on anybody. Uh, but despite the fact that so many people seem to have prepared and that the authorities got the city ready and all that, what I'm worried about from this point forward is just that one person who thinks it's okay to get back out on the roads. Uh, we don't want to have to you know, you know, write about a fatality because somebody got out on the roads, got in a car accident because they, they're on slick roads, or they a tree has fallen, like you say, and then they drive their car into that tree, or with the winds ongoing, tree falls onto a car. We've had to write about fatalities like that in the past. So that's what I'm trying to make sure people don't do, is let their guard down uh, because they perceive that the threat is gone. Yeah, definitely listen to authorities. You know, that, that curfew is, is there for people's safety. It's not to be a nuisance. It's not to be an inconvenience. It's there for uh, the safety of the public, especially in the aftermath of the storm when the cleanup is going to be well underway. Uh, so, Dr. Nav, another question I have. It's fascinating to talk to you because you were the director of the National Hurricane Center. We're in a major hurricane.